Welcome aboard for another video. Thanks, Conductor Keith. Welcome to the grand opening of the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. Well, I see that Dave is having a visit with Simon Nome. Dave, where are you? We've got nips to buy out. Oops, you better get to it and cook those turnips. No, no, Stephen. Terry said this was a video about trains, not planes. Yeah, and I can hear your granddaughter in the house. You better bring her along. It's time for everybody to gather for the grand opening. I see that everybody has gathered around for the opening ceremony. Henry and Marge are the guests of honor, of course. As the chairman of the board of directors, Lord Michael will be giving a speech. And the local padre will also have some words. We don't have to stick around for all the speech mongering. So while that is happening, why don't I show you around? When we come in, we see the big heavy timber bridge. Then we have a tank farm, and that's the track for the tank farm. This, I'm going to build a big factory warehouse thing here. It's going to take one or two rail cars a day. There's going to be a co-op goods shed right here for a rail car. This sign is not yet finished, obviously. Uh, it's a 3D printed sign that my friend Steve in England and his son Andy in Singapore made for me. Uh, I just got it. This area is a team track where trucks come and unload or other vehicles come and load and unload from rail cars. Here is the Pencross goods shed. Here is the locomotive servicing area. It's all outdoor. This is the interchange track with the Canadian National Railway that's over there. A major tenant here is a military testing area. There's a loading ramp, so a rail car occasionally comes here. These are the switch lists I use to have realistic operating sessions. I will be painting and ballasting the track and adding scenery like any other model railroad. This picture should give some idea of what it might look like because I started this scenery on an indoor layout, but I never finished the layout because I realized that we were going to move. Well, the railway on Vancouver Island ceased to be profitable, so they closed down the operation. This loop was falling into disrepair here near Castleman. So the Pencross Railway of Vancouver Island sold all their assets and purchased this industrial loop. And they've really started to make a go of it. Virtually all the townspeople moved here with the railway. The town is actually now called Turnip. The oldsters and most people, they don't actually call this place Turnip. They call it New New Rutabaga. In an act of remembrance, the townsfolk of New Rutabaga brought the Pencross Railway of Vancouver Island's New Rutabaga sign here and put it in front of the cafe. So welcome to Turnip, uh, or uh, New New Rutabaga. And for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, yes, I'm going to be building outdoors as well. Are you joining me for some train fun, little girl? This special day includes a parade of trains. First up is the Dignitaries train. Henry and Marge were invited on board, but they'd rather sit beside the track and watch trains. Of course, the friar's here, but he's not one for ceremony, so he's taken up his new favorite train watching location on the Heavy Timber Bridge. Let's take a break now to watch some vids from friends. You'll notice that tea comes up in some of the videos from my friends because, well, it's well known that I love tea. Hey, Terry, your friends here at the Red Mountain Railroad in North Carolina wish you all the best in the grand opening of your new Pink Cross Railway of Eastern Ontario. Looking forward to great videos in the future here. Good luck. Thanks, John. That's nice coming from a fellow with two layouts that are inspiring. Greetings from South Africa, which is I, the, well, Lighty Productions, but my actual name is Via. In case you didn't know that. In case you know me. First off, let's welcome back, Terry. It's been a while. We missed you, mate. And... Since he's opening the, uh, the new railway, let's celebrate with a nice cup of tea. Except this is not tea, this is quite literally coffee. Celebration whistle. Wish I had a fives whistle. Hmm. I'm so jealous you get to play with real trains. Hey Terry, it's Craig out in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Just wanted to congratulate you on driving the last spike in your new railroad.
Oh, doggy. All doggies are welcome at the pen cross. Hey, Simon here from That Big Train Guy. Just taking a break from editing my America videos in the moment uh, because Marge has made a surprise visit. She's come all this way from Canada to tell me that my friend Terry is soon to be opening his new model railway. How exciting! Oh, Simon, if only you could fly back with me to come to the opening in person! I know he's moved right across the country. Quite an epic move there and done a lot of work with this new railway. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the grand opening of the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. And we're gonna say cheers with uh, a mug that only the coolest people have. Whatever does he mean? Cheers, Terry. All the best. So from all of us here at the Rutabaga Railway in Scotland, Congratulations on the opening of the new Pencross Railway of East Ontario. Thanks, Dave. Uh, did you actually get back to boil your turnips? Oh, look at all those Canadian flags. Hurrah! As I stand here at the end of the ENN Railway on Vancouver Island, I think to a new railway, one of great reverence, one of great renown, and that's called the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. Now up to this point, I don't believe any live steam has ran on that beauty. But today's the day, today's the day that Terry runs more live steam on his railway. So in honor of this old railway ending, let's start a new one. Cheers, everybody. Well, Jonathan, without further ado, here's the first live steam locomotive to run on the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. This is my AccuCraft Sabrina, which I've converted to operate the reverser and the steam regulator with radio control. I should mention that when I say I converted, really, I couldn't have done it without the help of my friend Michael on Vancouver Island, who is amazing at all this RC stuff. Thanks, Michael. This second train in our parade represents the military training area. All of the equipment on the flat cars are Kobe brick models. You can get Kobe brick models from my friend Craig, who you've seen in this video. He is a Canadian importer and seller of Kobe models. There will be links to him and everyone else in the description to this video. Next up, we have a train of Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario equipment. It's been fun to create my own fictional railway, and it also gives me some latitude to do some weird things not normally seen. The lead locomotive is my Pico 25 Tonner. It's radio controlled with sound, and the second locomotive is my radio controlled with sound Mamid Bolton. This is a day in the life of the wife of Terry. Oh, and this is the beloved saddle. And this is what I get to see. I couldn't ask for anybody more supportive. <laughs> Terry, very many congratulations on the grand opening of the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. I've enjoyed watching the build, the new challenges that you've come up with and how you've uh, solved the problems such as the, the sliding bridge. I've watched those with uh, great pleasure, interest uh, and learned a few tips. So here's looking forward to more. But before we go, here's wishing you all the best from Horace, Goliath, Percy, Bertie, the Rolling Stock Collection or some of it a few tanks, and of course, where will we be without the assembled crowd here to celebrate your grand opening? Don't know how they got across the pond, but they managed it. Happy steaming, Terry. Looking forward to seeing many more. Cheers.
Thanks, Steve. Your creativity always inspires me. And I see that you've managed to put down your airplane. Hey, Terry. I just wanted to wish you great luck on your new railway in uh, Castleman, Ontario. And to show you the uh, planter railway that you inspired. And quite a bit more work to it. It's starting to look pretty damn nice. It means so much to me, Everett, to see an outdoor garden railway planter like I had on Vancouver Island being built outdoors down there in Virginia. Hi Terry, uh, congratulations with your new railway in a total other part of your country. Um, and inspired by that, I would say, I would sh I like to show you uh, the place where my new railway is going to be built. So. The, the central uh, station will be here and then it should go like this all along the edges and then crossing there there's going to be a big bridge so that we still can get in with the lawnmower and then we drive here along the water line there over this bridge and then we are going to cross the channel that you see here, approximately halfway with a beautiful bridge. And then we come back here, passing on the left side of this bridge, and then back to the central station area. This is the plan. We'll see if that's going to happen. Bram, I'm sure it'll be the best line in Holland. Hello, Terry's viewers. This is Michael Ramsey from Victoria, British Columbia. Not only was your RC help amazing, but I will forever treasure this Tetley T car that you traded to me. Hello, Terry. Congratulations on the grand opening of the Penn Cross Railway of Eastern Ontario. You've brought a lot of inspiration to all of us, and I'm sure looking forward to what you're going to do in the future with that beautiful little line there. So again, congratulations and thanks for everything you do. And thank you, Keith, for being the voice of Conductor Keith at the beginning of my videos. I look forward to seeing you again when I'm on Vancouver Island. Next up is my radio-controlled Roundhouse Engineering Sandy River number 24. Now, this is no longer Sandy River. It is now the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario's locomotive. It's live, steam, and awesome. This train in our parade represents businesses that use sidings in our Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario's industrial loop. Hello Terry, congratulations on making such an enjoyable YouTube channel and well done on the new indoor railway, it's looking really fantastic, can't wait to see some videos on that. And I'm a little bit late to the tea party, but I've got a toast of tea for your new outdoor railway and looking forward to many many years of enjoyable videos coming from it. Thank you very much. Rob, when are we emigrating to Canada? Soon, Justine. Soon. Well, Rob, we'd love to have you. And the large and small resin wagons you produce there at Swift 16 in Wales. Now, it's my understanding that uh, Mr. Terry Rouzo has an in with some uh, proprietor of a tea company in uh, the New England states. And uh, much of his tea is imported from the northeast up to Canada along the route 
of the Boston and Maine. And here we have a Boston and Maine train outbound from Boston, and it will be hauling some of the tea from the Rousel factory. But unbeknownst to many, the Rousel Tea Company is so exclusive that its whereabouts are top secret. For the secret ingredients in this tea must be kept that way. So we'll check in at the Conley Lumber and Coal Facility and see how they produce the tea and ship it out in our next video segment. With tea bags piled up on the property in a remote area where few people can witness, just those who are in the know, we spot a gondola full of tea bags ready to go out to North Dover where they'll be picked up by the next outbound train which will take them up to Canada and they'll reach Mr. Terry Rousel in Castleman in no time at all. The top quality from the Rousel Tea Bay Company. The cut has been made on the train and we go in and we lift the cut of cars. And we catch up with her at the New England River Bridge. As we say farewell. Hey Terry, what joy it was for me to create a short video for you and uh, have a little fun with a fictitious story on the Rousel Tea Company uh, based on my New England Railroad where your little factory is producing the tea. What you're doing on your Pencross Railway is amazing. Keep up the great work. I'm loving watching your YouTube channels and I know you've got a great following and I can't wait to get over there to run the trains at some point and have you over here as well. So take care and keep up the great work. Thanks Mike and thanks for letting me run your train at the Ottawa Valley Garden Railway Society. And I love your overscale tea bags. What fun! Last up in our parade is my American Main Line by AccuCraft USRA 060 live steam locomotive, which I have fitted with radio control. Oh look, there's Morant's bear. I say, Mars, the, the, the parade of trains was wonderful. It was you know wonderful. Mean, Henry, yes, it was. Oh, it was very exciting. I wish you could feel the heat that I can feel and smell the smell of steam and steam oil. Lovely. A blessing in my hobby has been all the wonderful people I've met. And you know, we like to grow the hobby. We like to encourage the hobby and spread the word. So with that in mind, consider subscribing. Consider commenting. I love comments. I'll answer all comments. Like this video, but most importantly, share it. Share it with others so we can help our hobby grow.